Hi all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm unboxing another Trendsend, which I just got in the mail today. Um, I realized I recently did a Trendsend on here, but the last box I only ended up, I don't know if you can tell, I purchased the Luca um, Front Twist Tee. Uh, like I said, I was going to, but I ended up sending everything else back. So I thought, why not go and try again? Um, actually, right after I sent my box back, Ever Eve, the company that works with Transcend, had a huge sale on their site. So as the huge sale went up, I said, you know what, I'm going to go through. I put some things on my um, wish list. And then I reached out to Transcend and I asked them to take a look at my wish list and send me some of the things maybe that were on sale. That was not this past weekend, the weekend before. And they finally got back to me, I want to say Monday? Monday or Tuesday they got back to me after that. And I also decided to change the location that it was coming from. I put it to Connecticut, but now I'm in Jersey, figuring maybe it would come quicker if it was on the East Coast because I was getting my box, the last box, and actually the first box I got was from Kentucky, which the ship time wasn't bad, but I thought maybe if I was in an even closer um, shipping location, I'd get it even faster. Long story short, it shipped out Saturday and it's here Monday. So without further ado, let's dig in. Um, the first thing is the envelope with all the paperwork. I'm not going to lie, I peeked online to see what was sent to me and the stylist this time did send me a couple of things that were on sale. I believe the two things that I mentioned, which I will show you the computer screen um, of what I asked for, did not end up coming to me, but what did end up coming to me um, why don't I just read you the note? Hi Janine, happy Trend Sunday. I'm so excited for you to receive your box of outfits today. I did my best to send you items from your wish list or pieces that we had were as close as possible to what you asked for. All of these items can be mixed and matched with each other and as well as dressed up or dressed down. As always, your feedback is super important to us as we want to try to send you the perfect items. Enjoy. And it looks like um, my new stylist this time, because I had Lindsay M the last time, is Candace J. So let's see, outfit one. Um, well, actually, let's let me open the outfits, and then I'll tell you what's what. So as always, the bottom of this is the um, postal mailing envelope to send back anything I don't want which is pretty easy. You just send it off and it goes back to them and they charge you for what you keep and not for what you send back. Okay, the first bundle, you can see, very pretty. I see lots of, uh, it looks like black and white, which I'm a big fan of. I see some stripes in there, as we all know how much I love stripes. And I think I see the denim cut by the cloth jacket that I had on my wish list. So that's pretty cool. Um, so the, I don't know if you can see what the label says, but they put labels to close them. You are enough. Say yes to new adventures. Okay, I'm digging in. And oh my goodness, Spanx, which I'm not going to lie, I recently from a trunk club ended up, I had asked for Spanx um, faux leather leggings. They didn't have, they sent me commando. And I ended up buying the commandos. They were a little pricey. And then I went and I ordered on Bloomingdale's the Spanx. And I actually brought the Spanx back because I didn't like the way they felt. So we're going to see. Let's see how these feel. But the Spanx, I don't know. They just, they didn't feel. They were sticking to my dry hands. These actually feel better, though. They feel softer. So we'll see. Um... These, I believe, if you can see, $110. So a little pricey, but everybody knows Spanx. Spanx are Spanx, and they're really comfortable, though. Um, what's the next? Oh, this looks really nice. This is the Peyton Jensen um, 
striped two pocket tee. Very pretty and it feels really nice. Material feels very soft. Um, and I could, I could see this going with those leggings or even maybe a pair of nice um, jeans, which I have a lot of jeans, I'm not gonna lie. I like leggings and jeans. And the third thing in this bundle is the cut from the cloth Amelia denim jacket. Oh, did I tell you the price? Some of these things are on sale, so I will tell you the sale prices on the bottom of the screen. But the price of the Peyton Jensen is $58. And I want to say this might have been one of the sale items. Not sure. I do know the cut by the cloth, um, cut from the cloth was on sale. The only thing that um, I am a little nervous about this when I peeked online. This is an extra small. Usually for jackets, I like to size up. I'll either go with a small or a medium. So I'm usually either an extra small or a small in shirts but and tops. But jackets, being that you're layering, I kind of like to size up. But this does feel like it has a lot of stretch. Um, so we'll see. Um, the price for this, yes, this was definitely on sale. I see it reflected. Normally $89, but this is $68.99. So we shall see. Um, like I said, um, this is definitely outfit one. I will finish reading you. Let's see what she said about outfit one. So this outfit is so perfect for you. It's comfortable enough from working from home, but also stylish from for running errands. That's great because I work from home, I'm a blogger. And I also tend to run errands during the day. So liking that, the faux leather camo legging by Spanx is a miracle pant. It may be, it may be work to put on. I've heard that and again, I've tried them so I know that they can be a struggle to get on, but once they're up, they stay put and flatter you all day. I know that you liked striped shirts, so I so this tee by Peyton Jensen is an alternative look that's long enough to wear with leggings and the denim jacket by Cut is super stretchy and comfortable and will take you right into the springtime. It looks great with a rolled sleeve and can be left unbuttoned for a trendy look. This outfit will look great with a pair of Vans. Guys, I don't have Vans. I'm dying to try a pair of Vans and actually I have, um, I have a trunk club coming. It should be either here tomorrow or Wednesday. I've been tracking. It looks like Wednesday, but it's already only a couple towns away from me. So I'm thinking it may actually get here a little early. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Um, and in that box, there was, it wasn't Vans, but I believe there is a Sam Edelman pair of um, slip-on sneakers. So maybe, maybe, maybe that could work. If not, I need Vans. So hopefully one of my boxes to come, I get a pair of Vans. But that is outfit one. Let's see outfit two. And I don't know if you can see, I'll show you the label. It says, outdream yourself, choose kind over cool. Which I love the kind over cool. Having two young daughters, I'm constantly trying to teach them to be kind and considerate and um, so that label really resonates with me. And digging in. So outfit two. Now I believe the top blouse that I'm going to show you, I believe this is a sale item. Not sure. I like the colors. Um, I'm a purple and pink. The color of the year is definitely me right now. Um, the, that corally pink color. This is more of a purple, but I'm not sure because I feel like this might be um, more fall, but we'll see. We'll definitely try it on. This is by Alice and Joy, which I don't know if you remember my last um, Trends Unbox. It, it hurt to send it back, but $78 for a blouse. I just couldn't justify that. Um, that said, this is by the same company, that mustard um, shirt that I had the last time. This one is the, the Lexi wrap top and it was $78 and it is now $24.99. That might be a steal and 
if it fits right, you might go with it. The next, looks like they took my, um, my feedback seriously because the last time, again, I don't know if you realized it, but I had gotten a pair of Seven for All Mankind, which I like the jeans, but the cut wasn't for me. I already have boyfriend jeans. Actually, I'm wearing a pair right now. Can't see it in the view, but I didn't like the way they fit. Nevertheless, I asked for more skinny and um, straight leg and skinny. So these are the um, page denim. I hope I'm saying this right. The, Hox the Hoxton Ultra Skinny. And it looks like it's in a dark wash, which I could use because I just bought um, out of another trunk club. I bought by um, AG Denim. I bought a lighter wash and they were distressed. I think, if I'm not mistaken, yep, these are really not distressed. They're just a nice dark wash tapered to the end um and these are on sale they started at $199 and they are now $159.99 um good price still a little pricey but again I'm not averse to um premium denim if they fit and feel good and the price is right so we'll see we'll try these on as well and last but not least, I asked for a moto. I had put a moto jacket in. I believe this is a little different than the moto jacket wish list, but again, I think this is also on sale. Let's take a look. Um, this is by Blank NYC, another company I like, but again, an extra small, so I'm not sure, but again, trying it on. And let's see where the tag is for this. Let's see, I'm not, not seeing a tag. I'm not seeing a tag for this. Okay. Oh, no. Found it. Um, but, again, this is Blank NYC Cleaned Up Moto. And, yes, it's on sale from 98 to 70 $7.99. So again, good sale price. Um, that's my box. I'm kind of looking to transition to spring, but still I was hoping to get some sale pieces, which she pretty much did. Let's see what she said about outfit number two. So she said, this is such a pretty date night outfit. The dark, dark jeans by Paige have a great high rise and skinny leg and can be dressed up with a pair of heels. The wrap top by Alice and Joy has such a pretty and feminine look to it and will be great in all seasons. The tie really highlights your waist. The moto jacket is so fun and edgy. Complete this look with layers of necklaces and a great pump and you're all set for a night on the town. I'm not a big pump girl only because I have a bad lower back. So I tend to wear, um, I'll wear heels but like a lower heel. Um, and I've been wearing more booties because here in New York, it's still pretty cold uh, today. You can't hear it, but earlier today we had some big windstorm and just not a day for pumps by any means. But I'm sure going into the spring, I'll be wearing more open toed shoes and more, more heeled at least. But anyways, we'll try this on and we'll see how it looks. And I should be back in a couple of minutes, hopefully with the try on. So stay tuned for that. Welcome back. I am trying on outfit number one. Um, outfit number one consisted of the outer layer of the jacket, the um, cut from the cloth Amelia denim jacket. As I stated earlier, this is in an extra small. I was pleasantly surprised when I put it on. It does fit. I have room. I can stretch. I can even button it, not that I would button it. I'm not one to button denim jackets. Um, and I love the way it came to me. It came with the cuff sleeve, which I'm all about cuffing the denim jacket sleeve, so that works. All in all, I'm liking the denim jacket, and I may keep. Um, may still size up, but I'm playing with that. Now this underneath and the next layer she had me put on 
the Peyton, the Peyton Jensen, the Stripe 2 Pocket Tee. Very cute shirt. I don't know if you can see, it does have the striping detail. Um, I like this. I think it could work. I'm not so sure about the pocket here on the um, chest area. I don't usually go for that look, but again, I like the other thing I like is I like the cutout V. So like you can see the necklace I have on today. This is actually from Leto. This is a Kate Spade necklace. Looks pretty nice. I like the way that, that you could wear a necklace or a chain and it probably would work a shorter chain. Um, also, if you take a look, let me bring you down a bit. The length isn't bad. It covers um, the bum area pretty nicely. And then layered with the next item is the Spanx faux leather camo legging. Very, very cute. If you can see the detailing, the camo detailing. And the fit, these suck in everything. I love the Spanx for that. And actually, I know I mentioned earlier, I had tried um, Spanx for the regular faux leather legging. Did not like those. These are actually very soft, smooth. I don't feel that same um, chalky feeling that I felt with the ones that I returned. So that's a good thing. Also, take you down a little lower. She had said to pair with Vans. Well, again, don't have Vans, but my white chucks I have on, if you can see those. Um, I do need Vans though, I will say. All in all, great outfit. Let me know what you think in the comments, if you like any of these pieces, if you like them together, if you think I should size up on the denim jacket. Again, this is a work in progress for me, so I'm curious to see what you all think. But all in all, not a bad outfit. Um, is my taste and my preferences and my like. She took that very well into um, her thoughts when styling. So happy so far. But I'll be back with outfit number two in a second. Okay, back with outfit number two. Uh, this outfit starts with the top layer of the blank NYC cleaned up moto jacket. While I like it, my fears of it being an extra small for this one was true. I don't have a lot of room. Um, I really do think a jacket like this needs to be sized up, whether I need a small or a medium, but definitely not an extra small. I can't even zip it. Not that I would zip, but sometimes you do want to zip. Can't do that. But to the things I do like, the um, zipper effect can open, can close it more. Um, if you zoom down a little, this definitely cute moto look that I was looking for, it is there. Although heading to spring, I'm starting to question, do I need a black moto jacket? I might want to get a lighter color. Actually in my trunk, I sneaked a peek at that today. There was a lighter one in there, more of a beige, suede. Even that I'm not sure. I might even go more with pastel, but for argument's sake, the price on this isn't bad, but again, fit's not working for me at all. The underneath, this is the Alice and Joy uh, wrap top. Uh, it is the Lexi wrap top. It's cute, but again, I don't know, trying to get into this shirt, it does fit. I would probably have to wear possibly a cami under. I didn't put one under right now. It's kind of big in here, but it is tighter in here once you um, belt it. Again, I'm not loving this. Uh, the details, the cuff sleeve, a little too cuffed for me even here. I don't know, it's just not doing anything for me. Let me know your thoughts though on both pieces so far, but I'm thinking I'd have to size down definitely, um, excuse me, no, size up definitely on that jacket. And this, even though the price, when I get to the pricing, the price is definitely right on this. I don't know if I like it on me. And 
And last but not least are the Paige denim jeans. They fit pretty well. I don't know if you can see. They, they, I got a little room. The, they are high rise, so they definitely aren't gaping or anything like that. And as for the bottom, they're a little long though. I happen to be only 5'2", and I had to cuff them, and I don't know if I like that. I would, I would like them to fit a little bit better in the, um, leg area. And I put them instead of with the pumps that she had mentioned, these are my black booties from Nordstrom, Sam Edelman. I got them on sale. I had a Nordstrom note. I think I paid like $20 for them and they were like a hundred and something dollar boot. So I love them. So that's what I paired this with. But again, I don't know if I'm loving the actual fit of these. Again, I think too long. Um, the color's great though, I will say. And the skinny part of them, great. They are a good fit. Anyone that's maybe a little bit taller than me, these jeans, give you my face again, the jeans, I think if you are taller, they would work perfect, but I am definitely too short. That wraps up the two outfits. I'll be back with a quick wrap up though. Welcome back. Um, now it's time for my wrap up of my latest trend send box. I have the paperwork with all the pricing to go through with you as well as the clothes back over here that I just tried on with my thoughts, my opinions, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I think I'm keeping, what I'm sending back. On a side note, back when I chose to do another Transcend so quickly after my last, I thought, first of all, I had only bought one piece out of that box. So I thought, what the heck? Let's try this again. I liked the process. I thought it was great. Um, I also noticed when my um, last Transcend was received that Transcend had this huge sale on their sister site on Ever Eve that I was like, these prices are great. I'd like to get some of these pieces at these prices. And that sale was for President's Day weekend. So that was one of the big reasons why I thought, let's try this again so quickly. The other issue was when that sale was going on, I threw a lot of stuff in my wish list on Ever Eve. And my wish list had some of the pieces that were sent to me today, some that weren't. Um, I also think I mentioned earlier that I had printed out what I actually requested from that wish list. The I know there was a sweatshirt by Peyton Jensen that did not get sent to me. I'm wondering if that just wasn't in stock. Um, but again, they do go by what's in stock in the store that it's coming from. And the store this time that it came from was in Connecticut. So it might not have been available. I get that. The other issue was some of the stuff that I put in my wish list probably was more winter um, oriented and I'm thinking I need to head into spring and maybe I should have picked some stuff that could have really gone nicely and over into the springtime. Granted, it's New York. It's freezing today. We had that windstorm that I mentioned earlier, but still I'm longing for spring and I really don't need many clothes for winter anymore. I stocked up on a lot of stuff that I needed for the winter. That said, let's head into this price list and discuss a little bit further. Oh, and the other thing is, with that sale, I also asked in my Transcend to have sale items from that and anything else to be included, which I feel in this pile she did give me a lot of sale items, which again, awesome. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Anytime I could save a couple of dollars, I'm all for that. Now, without further ado, the first item was that Lexi wrap top in plum, extra small by Allison Joy. And this was heavily discounted from $78 all the way down to $24.99. Well, I appreciate the price on this and the fact that I already paid $20, that's right, with Transcend 
the newest procedure policy is you pay $20 styling fee and that $20 comes off of your Transcend order. That said, if I took this shirt, it would be only be, I think, like $4.99. Guys, I didn't like this. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if you could have seen it on my face. I'm assuming you did. I know when I don't like something. Um, didn't like the fit. The color was okay. I do like purples. I even like pinks, the corals. I'm okay with that. I just did not like the fit of this. I didn't like the wrap. I didn't like the length. Just was not for me. Plus the fact that it is a darker purple, so I feel this is definitely more a winter color. It's not going to work. It's going back. That said, next up was the Cleaned Up Moto in Onyx, extra small, blank NYC, also on sale from $98 to $79. Excuse me, $77.99. The size of this jacket was completely off. While I am an extra small and a small in tops, jackets, like I said earlier, I tend to go up in size and I may need to stress that for whoever styles me next. Um, this in an extra small was way too tight. I couldn't even zip it. I had no give and stretch in the arm area. I, even with the lightest shirt underneath, it wouldn't work. That said, even if I tried to put something heavier, it definitely wouldn't work. Um, I did have a similar jacket in on my wish list for Ever Eve by Blank NYC. But again, my thoughts right now are we're heading into spring. It is black. It's a little too winter um, season for me. I'm probably going to pull that jacket off my wish list. While I want a moto jacket, I'm thinking I might want lighter, definitely larger, and yeah, not for me. So this is going back. And next we have the Paige Hoxton Ultra Skinny in Daily, size 27, on sale from, what did I say these were? on sale from $199 to $159.99. Well, I like the color. I even love that they're skinny. I'm appreciative that the stylist took my words of wanting skinny over boyfriend cut to heart. I did not like the length of these too long. I'm only 5'2". Not only did I have to roll them, but I tend to wear a lot of booties or even flats, they weren't going to work. Um, so for that alone, as much as I need a darker denim and definitely not distressed, these were just not the right fit um, in the length. So they're going back. And up next, another jacket. This one was the, um, the Amelia denim jacket, liberal extra small, cut from the cloth, and it was on sale from the original price of $89 down to $69.99. When I first put this on my wish list, it was discounted even more at, I believe it was $55.99. I really, I do have, I do have a denim jacket. It's a little bit darker, but I've been hearing about cut from the cloth and their denim jackets. Really wanted to try this because I've heard that cut from the cloth has a lot of stretch in their denim jackets. Um, actually, I don't know if you can see it, but the jeans that I'm wearing today, heavily distressed, these are cut from the cloth. I love these jeans. A, even more of a side note, I'm not sure if you can see this for these jeans. These, as destructed as they were, this had this big destruction here. And when I first got it, it wasn't as ripped. It ripped more and more for some reason. And it was so ripped, I did not like the way it looked in my thigh area, that my husband suggested that I should um, either get a patch, sew material into it. What I ended up deciding to do was sew the material into it, as you can see from me showing it to you. 
I got fabric from Walmart. It cost me like $2, I think, for the fabric. And my husband sews. I don't sew. So my husband sewed it nicely, generously for me. Thank you to him for that. Um, but these jeans work perfect now with that. So maybe down the road I'm thinking, because again, I'm a blogger. I think I'm going to blog and explain how easy it is to fix distressed jeans if they rip too much. Let me know if you'd like to see that because my blog is linked in my YouTube channel. And if you do, I will definitely do a write up on that soon. But I digress. Back to the jacket, which again, I love cut from the cloth. I'm a big fan. Um, the price is right. However, when I called recently for something else, um, they had told me that I could possibly get that original sale price of 55, I believe again, 55.99. If I called, they would possibly give me a coupon for it. So I think I'm gonna call and just verify that. Either way, I'm thinking this one might be the, um, the yes. Plus, I'm still debating though the size. Let me know, you saw it on me. Do you think I should size up or do you think the extra small looked okay? But either way, I think this is gonna stay with me one way or the other. That said, the next item that I had was the Stripe 2 Pocket Tee in white gray, size small, Peyton Jensen, $58. I like this shirt. I'm kind of on the fence. It is full price, which is fine. Um, I didn't know if I love the pocket on my chest. That's another thing. If you could tell me from seeing it on me, your thoughts. As well as the length was nice. It did cover the um, tushy area, but I'm not sure. I'm thinking if I did go with this, maybe with a pair of jeans with a front tuck, I'm not sure I'm thinking about this. So this is a maybe, um, again, thinking about it. Last but not least are the faux leather camo legging in matte black camo, size small, Spanx, $110. Well, you saw it on me. If you can see, it definitely, it's in black. It definitely has that um, camo print to it. It's nice. They fit nice. There's no complaint there. They sucked everything in perfectly, like Spanx always does. Um, and again, remember me mentioning I had another pair of the fake camo. It was just a regular camo that I did return because the material just was very rough and hard and I felt like it just wasn't going to work for me. That said, I do have the commandos that are in black that look more leather-like. These are full price and they're not on sale and it is a lot of money. I'm not getting that um, discount of how I said if you buy the four you get the 10% off. I'm not getting that because I have already am returning more than I'm keeping. Um, so I'm on the fence. Let me know, you saw these on me. Let me know if you like them, if you think they could work for spring. Um, yeah, let me know. Again, not sure, a uh, maybe. That said, I have to sit and do some thinking, soul searching, items that I've got on that maybe list, as well as your thoughts and I have a trunk coming either, like I said, tomorrow or Wednesday, and I've already peaked because, yeah, trunk club, you cannot not peak. They pretty much send you the um, items ahead of time. I will go through that. I will be posting that video when it comes. And that is a lot of expensive stuff, and I'm not sure what I'll need, what I'll keep, but she did move ahead, my stylist that I've had for a while with spring, so that was a good thing that I think... I'm excited for, but if that's the case, I don't know how much of that I'm going to be keeping. I have five days to check out, so I do need um, your opinion, your thoughts, and I'd appreciate that again greatly. Last but not least, if you like this video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up because that helps me make more of these videos. Moreover, if you are not a subscriber yet, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you are, I thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. And that said, um, I should be back soon again, like I said, with the trunk club. 
I have a Stitch Fix coming, but I was put off by Stitch Fix. That's another story for another time. But that should be coming maybe towards the end of the week. So that's what I have look, to look forward to here on the channel. Um, a trunk club and a Stitch Fix and maybe more Disney to come soon. <sighs> Thank you all for listening to me. And I wish you a wonderful day ahead. And until next time, see you soon.